welcome back to my channel. As promised, we are delivering our video on how to make ice cream. The ice cream flavor that we're going to be making today is blueberry lavender ice cream, homemade ice cream. It's supposed mm. to be, it's supposed to be vegan. I don't know if all the claims on that are true. I think it's vegan because like all the the ingredients we have are not from like animals. They're all like plant based milks and sugars and things. So we think that I think it's vegan. That I think that would make it sense. Probably is. Yeah. So <clears throat> we're making vegan you know ice cream. I mean. So <laughs> even if so, if you are vegan, um, yes, this isn't good cream, good ice cream for you. And if you're not, well, it's still gonna taste good. We hope. <laughs> As yeah. usual, these videos never turn out good. We always butcher up the food. So, but it does taste good. The, it, the food usually tastes good. The presentation is is frightening. So hard. <laughs> We're just gonna go with it. Yep. Don't put your don't put your fingers in that. Ew. So um, yeah, if you want to know the recipe for the ice cream that we're making, it's going to be in the link in the description. So check down in the description all the information, all the ingredients, and the link to the original recipe and video will be in the link in the description. Now um, it's a 42 second video, so we're just gonna go ahead and show it here. This is what our ice cream is supposed to look like. We're not sure if it's going to turn out that way, but here's what it's supposed to look like. So we have uh, high expectations and, um, no, well, we actually, we have high hopes and low expectations. But we're going to go ahead and get started on the ice cream. So make sure that if this is your very first video, welcome, welcome to the Pine Army. I'm Hazel. This is my channel. These are my siblings. They are occasionally here. She loves we pineapples. Do, yeah, that's why, Pine that's why our, our, our fandom is called the Pine Army. So, um, yeah, we, they are occasionally in my videos. We post everything from comedy. We are normally, like, making stuff, like, very DIY-ish type, right here in my kitchen. I sometimes do covers and singing, because I like singing and I like music <laughs> and musicals and acting. So I'm sometimes doing my acting type stuff. And I sometimes vlog. I like vlogging, too. So you can catch me basically anywhere around Atlanta, Georgia, with a camera, <laughs> making a video. So... Yeah, if you're new to our channel, thank you guys so much for stopping by. Make sure that you subscribe and hit the bell so that you never miss a video because you're going to want to watch more of us. We're very entertaining. We're entertaining for ourselves. This is this is entertaining. So, yeah. yeah. In honor yeah, of our... Mm, yeah, basically. <laughs> In honor of our lavender ice cream, I wore this purple shirt. It's called... It says Radiate Positive Vibes. Get a purple shirt. Get a mixing bowl. Get a blender. And get a camera. Because it's time to make blueberry lavender ice cream. Yay! <laughs> Okay, so here we are in this side of our kitchen now with all our ingredients and our instructions. Remember, the recipe is in the description if you want to follow along. So the first thing that we have to do is line a small casserole dish or a large container with wax or parchment paper. So I was able to find some parchment paper and um, a big dish. I decided a small dish. Every time I pick a small bowl, we always have to get a bigger one and then we have to wash two bowls. So I went for a big one, bigger the better, right? Go bigger, go. Right, exactly. exactly. So we're gonna just go ahead and line it with parchment paper. We're probably doing this very wrong. I'm gonna move this out of the way so everyone can see. We're doing this very wrong. We really don't care. Okay, so this is our bowl all wrapped up in parchment paper. Joshua's slowly hiding because he is sad at our cooking skills. Um, I think. 
We did that. We botched that. But isn't that the whole point? Two cups of frozen blueberries. Frozen blueberries. They are very cold. Um, coconut cream, which is coconut cream. Okay, so one cup of one coconut cup of cream. Coconut. We're gonna wash this, and we'll be right back. Never mind. Actually, we decided two half cups is one cup. Math. Yeah, how, uh, one cup. Of so it's one cup of coconut cream, which is two half cups. So we're gonna do two half cups of the coconut cream being poured by Joshua. <laughs> um, lavender mm -hmm. vitality, uh, four drops. Okay, really quick before we pour the lavender vitality, we have to give a disclaimer. The essential oil being used in this video is from Young Living Essential Oils. We only use and recommend Young Living Essential Oils. If you would like any information, all of it is in the description. Um, the oil that we're using is Lavender Vitality. Vitality oils are formulated for consumption and you should never use any other essential oil because um, you never know what is in there. So only use oils that you know and trust. Proceed. So just do one teaspoon and one tablespoon. It, uh, no, don't waste time. I'm not wasting time. Okay, look at that. Hmm, look who knows math now. I didn't know a bunch of measurements for this cooking class that I did at camp. You already know about it because I made those terrible hamburgers that tasted really good but looked really bad. Um, and we have to do a cooking measurement test to, to get this, um, a level in our class. I'm a hunter of strong rock. Okay, well. Wrong. She only has three hunters, not four. You have to get four hunters to be a hunter that's strong rock, and I am a hunter strong rock. There's a lot of she me. is a knave of strong rock. Excuse me. There's no such thing as a knave. A knave is better because a knave is a knight. I mean. Yeah. Look at that, guys. I'm a knave. That's I'm not even knave. a thing. But Joshua just created it, and he just realized it's better than him. Knave. Knaves are not better. I'm your resident knave, everybody. Wait, we didn't do the coconut water. Oh wait, no, it's in this third ingredient. Oh, okay, never mind. We don't do the coconut water. Okay, so mix it together for like a little bit, and then add coconut, coconut um, water. One tablespoon of coconut water at a time to help. How many coconut water? Basically, we're gonna put it in the Three blender. Three half. A and we're gonna, cup. We're gonna put it in the blender. And then we're gonna add the coconut water. So a few moments later. Our dog was very scared of the sound. That's yeah, so I went to go comfort him. Mm -hmm. um, now a third of this inside. They can't see. I should have done this way closer. Okay. You should. So a third cup of Balance. coconut water. Is key. Balance is key. Yeah. Balance is key, everybody. That's a quote from Josh. Mm -hmm. This should be known to the world. This day and moment. Okay. Forever documented on YouTube, just so everyone knows. Pour all some greens together, add coconut water, one tablespoon at a time to help you. How many tablespoons? Well, yeah. Third, oh, third cup of coconut water at a time to help you to help the ingredients rub together smoothly. Be careful not to add too much liquid or your ice cream will become too soft. We put, I mean, we put enough. Yeah. 
four blended ingredients into the paper dish. Prepared. Prepared dish. Cover and freeze for four hours. All right. Well, that's what we're gonna do right now. So, that's up. We're yes. holding the dish, so you gotta pour. Okay. So take. You gotta take the cover off. I'm trying to. On the other side of me. Okay, so now you gotta pour it into the dish. It looks like a smoothie right now, but hopefully it will solidify and become ice cream. It will solidify. Cover. And we're gonna put it in the fridge for four hours. So at four o'clock, we will check this. We have room. That is done. Okay, so it's been four hours. Um, the ice cream has come out of the freezer and we're going to now scoop it into our dishes and we're gonna try it. Ooh, looks like gelato. Taking this one. <laughs> okay. Mmm. Mmm. This is really good. That's an interesting candy. That's the lavender. It's pretty good though. Mmm. Yeah. Very interesting, but it could. You know what it is? It's not ice cream, it's like more of a frozen smoothie. Mm -hmm. It's tasty, but it's like frozen smoothie. Yeah. <laughs> like an hour from Froyo and like a day maybe from ice cream. <laughs> it was probably about six minutes from perfection. Okay. Yeah. Josh? Why don't you do that? That's how you, this took 30 seconds. That's how you know it's not real ice cream. Stop. Real ice cream, that, you know what? Actually it's good, it's good. It's ruining the experience for everybody. Mm -hmm. Ruined. It's smooth. The, the viewers will never be able to unsee that. So, <clears throat> can I pour it back in? No! <laughs> <laughs> okay, I know we can do the end slate. <clears throat> Thank you guys for watching this video. Make some of your own ice cream. Don't do what Joshua did. Don't turn it into sludge. Sludge is not tasty. <laughs> Make sure that you like this video, that you comment on other things that you would like us to try and to subscribe and to click the bell so you can get notified every time we post a video. Bye guys, take care. Bye. Bye. Mm. Mm. This is the right one. Yeah.